Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, if you are a patron, is once again brought to you by you. Infernal hails and gratitude. Nuclear War Now and New Era Productions put out this just amazing slab of black metal that is a demo comp from... Necromantic Worship, Rites of Resurrection, wow, if you're a fan of early Varathron, you already are going to love this, Beherit Drawing Down the Moon, there's so many ancient vibes here from Mortuary Drake. Like, it, it's really, really good stuff here. Like, if you dig that type of black metal, like, I'd even say Perverted Ceremony, Moan of Zeveth, yeah, you, you already like this, and you may have never heard it yet, but this just has a very... Like, unmistakable, just, again, there's a certain type of black metal that I feel, like, when I hear it, it's just like, like, why can't everybody, like, you know, just nail their influences, and that's, to me, the main, I don't want to say gimmick, but... I, I should just say calling card. Like, from the moment I heard the first demo, I was just like, like what, like, what the hell, like, what is this? This is awesome. And then, they just kept getting better and better. And by the time the, the demo comp came out, this is available on vinyl, CD, I, I grabbed the cassette because it was six dollars on the Nuclear War Now site during the sale, which hopefully is still going on. Like this whole like like when they do like the it, it's just got that mortuary drape vibe and it's just dialed like legit it's it, it's. <laughs> I do love my occult black metal. Legitimately, come on. I, I really should have just grabbed the LP. This is so good and just up my alley when it comes to black metal and just especially like the type of black metal that I really kind of go out of my way for and that's bands like Necromantic Worship, Perverted Ceremony, like, just the proof's in the pudding. 
I've been really enjoying Ancient Spells of Darkness and Dawn of Morbid Sorcery a lot lately. Like, these have been getting heavy plays along with Perverted Ceremonies. Uh, the records I have, I have everything except for the demo and the split with Witchcraft. But, pretty much, again, the colors scream Mortuary Drape, so does the cover, but there's a heavy His Majesty at the Swamp, Varathron vibe throughout the entire record. Order of the Blood Dog and Nuclear War Now edition. I forget what color this is, but this is such a nice press of this absolute black metal gem. Especially when it comes to, like, Greek black metal. His Majesty at the Swamp is just amazing. It is odd, though. Like, there's not a Nuclear War Now number. It's all... The, the dog, dog zero zero one, but this is, oh, Order of the Blood Dog Presents, whoa, how did I never notice that before? Now, sometimes, just a heads up, you might see His Majesty at the Swamp on cassette. Or CD with this cover. It's the same record. It's just... I, I don't know if it's a different pressing or whatever. But it, it's the same exact record. I ha I've actually had a few people ask me questions about that. So here's my chance to bring that up. But again, like... Just... A lot of similarities that you might not even notice. Just, you might be like, oh, well, everybody does that. Well, no, not really. It's very intentional and well thought out. Like, that's why I... Because I, they built this up over the course of a few demos that really... I mean, in my opinion, if Nuclear War Now is putting out your demos, you're doing something right. Like, that's just the way it is, honestly. And with Necromantic Worship, especially for a label that already has, like, Beherit and Moen of Zebeth, Perverted Ceremony, it's like YK, I mean, he has a great taste when it comes to black metal. And he definitely loves his Mortuary Drape meets Beherit. And that's exactly what you get here. But with a giant splash of His Majesty at the Swamp. And when I'm saying Beherit, I'm talking like drawing down the moon Beherit. Like, not like Dawn of Satan's Millennium. So, like, don't go into it expecting, like... You know, the more bestial style vocals. It's more... More like Moan of Zebeth vocally. Like, it's got that, like, reverb. It's just very well executed. And you can tell they know what they're doing. It's kind of like Phil Philadelphia's Devil Master. Like, they... The, the first time I saw them, I kind of was like... Is this band, is this, is this, is this a gimmick? Or is this, like, legit, like, you know, like, are they, like, keeping it, like, evil? And, because they were, like, setting up, like, cobwebs, and it felt more like, just, like, this, like, spooky midnight party. And it, it was really fun, like, don't get me wrong, I had a great time, it was a great show. This was 2017, Topos Nomos had to drop off the show and Devil Master played instead, which I was fine with. Because I had never seen them live at that point, and I was just blown away with, like, the professionalism 
everything about it, but it was a completely different lineup and stuff, and it was just an awesome, like, show, and it felt like, again, like, it, as much as it, I was like, wait, like, is this a gimmick? Like, are, are they, like, serious, or is this just, like, you know, like, Midnight with the Hoods? You get what I'm saying? Like, the spider webs and stuff, like, I just kind of was like, oh, like, is this the gimmick? And then I kind of noticed the second time I saw them, the one guitar player, the main guitar player, um, not not the vocalist. Uh, I probably should check real fast. Hold on. I apologize. And I, I'm probably going to forget what I was talking about. So I really, really apologize. But, uh, I found it. I have, I have a feeling next record is not going to be on Relapse. But, I again, do not get this confused, though. It's just the same color. Totally different vibes and totally different styles of black metal. But don't get me wrong, Devil Master, like, this is a total banger. Ecstasies of Never Ending uh, Night. I like the first full length also, but I do not have a copy of it. But the demos are really where it's at. And also, check out Spider. Spider. Like, Spider. I thought the tape was next to me, but it is not. That's something I need to upgrade to on vinyl. But Devil Master, the, the guitar player, um, for some reason, I thought his name was on the back. I completely forgot that the... Yeah, I completely forgot that the insert was a poster and I gave the poster away. But... Like, flick the switch on, and it was like, all of a sudden, everything was 100% serious, and it was really fucking cool. And I love when bands do that. Like, whenever I see an NVNM band, like, I'm cool with those dudes. And, like, we'll be talking, like, up until it's time for them to play. And as soon as it's time to play, it's like... Again, they flick the switch on, and all of a sudden, it's like, you know, like, just riffing and just keeping it fucking evil. And to me, that's the way to do it. Like, you can't be a phony, like, and I could tell if you're phoning it in, too. Like, I hate when I see, like, a legacy black metal act, and it just feels exactly like that an act, it feels just over-rehearsed, like, I, I don't know, there's just certain bands I've seen where it's like, this is gonna rule, and then you're like, what? Like, what, what, what is this? Come on. Ugh, <laughs> that's happened so many times, and... As much as New Enslaved isn't my thing, I love Issa. I love that record. And the last time I saw Enslaved, they did Issa with John from Baroness, Mike from Yob. Oh my god, who, who else? Fuck. It, it was somebody else, but... They, they did Issa, like, like, they all just, it was so good, and then they played Frost, like, I ran into, like, this dude I knew, know, and he's like, he's like, what, he's like what, what do you want them to play? I was like, dude, honestly, anything off Frost, and he was like, that's not gonna happen, and as soon as they were like, this one's an old one, I was like, oh shit, and then, yeah, I got my wish, and this wasn't like, you know, 
a Frost tour or anything like that. Like I see, I've seen them do Frost in, in its entirety, but what does that have to do with necromantic worship? Nothing. But if you're one of those people that, when it comes to black metal, you know, you have your kind of straightforward, you know, with the low production, which is perfectly fine, especially when executed well. Northern Solitude, for example, like... Yeah. Erstwhile Sorrow Swalls. Yeah. Like, there's certain bands that just know how to capture that. And then you have something like Demon Sea, where it's savage and evil and just awesome. And you gotta love that too, because then you can go from that straight to some, you know. Holder, and still get those same vibes from the Eternal Warfare EP, which I really like. I I tried giving the full length, like the sophomore full length, multiple chances, and I just, I really can't 100% get into it. Like, especially compared to her her demos, which I, I still feel are like, wow. Like, this comp right here, I gave everyone fair warning that there were only... I mean, hey, if there's still one copy left, go get this, because you... Do not want to pay Discog prices for this bad boy, but it's worth every single penny. I But there's so, there's so many songs, repeat. Yeah, there's different versions of these amazing early holder tracks that just... Oh my goodness. To me, this is like... I don't have God Slattering on vinyl, but I'm like legit happy just to have this. I don't know how this wasn't sold out. Like, there were two copies left when I scored this. And it was thanks to the Patreon. Like, somebody legitimately was like, Hey, you never really went over the Holder demo. And I was like, no, I didn't. It sold out. Like... Before I got a chance to. And when it comes to US black metal right now, I mean, coming off of that tour with Worm, Devil Master, Necrofire, sorry if that's incorrect, but I feel like Holder's probably at a bigger spot than ever in the black metal scene. And when it comes to dark, medieval black metal, again, do not get these two confused. The only thing that they have in common is that they both play a style of black metal. Completely different styles, but still, like, they're both black metal releases. They're both comps of early demo stuff but necromantic worship do not have a record yet but when they do sign me up like that that's something i'm looking forward to like a new perverted ceremony full length like bring it on like new mo and azebeth like please and thank you but uh yeah, when it comes to Rites of Resurrection, essential modern black metal. Like, legitimately, this was one of those, like, what when I've, and I tried to get the demos. Like, when, before this was a comp, I, I really did, and I, I just... It didn't work out, and 
I'm just grateful that nuclear war now is rad enough to like re like not reissue but like do this like you know comp I just think it's awesome for necromantic worship it's awesome for fans of this music and it really does like just like it, it's just great but this album is dedicated to the memory of Baron Blood. Wait, is Baron Blood the dude from Perverted Ceremony? Wait a minute here. I'm oh, sorry. We might have just hit a conspiracy. I'm just going to grab the EP because it's right in front of me. Like, it's legit right. It's pretty yeah, it's right here. Oh no, this isn't the one that tells you. No. I'm gonna have to... It, it's right over there, though. It'll take a second. Is it... I got it already. Well, no, no, no. This is a barren uh, cemetery. And a morbid messiah. But l l let me check. Moen and Zebeth as well, real quick. And let me make sure that they don't use any other state. Oh, it's on the poster again. My bad. Yeah. Again, perverted ceremony and necromantic worship definitely have like just that that sound like just like i said that type of like just super evil you know here it says for fans of lord of putrefaction mystifier and dead christ mystifier definitely like to me that that feels kind of obvious but One of my favorite modern black metal bands, Perverted Ceremony. Like, I just feel like they're, they do something very special with their music. But before I go, I just, I need to find out if, if that, uh, Baron of Blood dude is in, uh, this isn't going to tell me. I need the full length. Because that name sounds very familiar for some reason. Oh, don't be on the back of the poster. Don't be on the back of the poster. God damn you. Oh, ancient black metal. But yeah, again, if you like this, you are gonna like Necromantic Worship. Like, I almost guarantee you, you will dig it. But, uh, Baron of Blood, shit, R.I.P. regardless, I, I've seen that name before, like, I swore it was Perverted Ceremony, but, I, I get, I, let me just, nah. But this is on 180 gram, like, yo, like, Medieval Prophecy Records. This is such a sick reissue, because this demo is, oh my goodness, well, this is like definitely in one of my top 10 favorite black metal records in my collection, which I grabbed from Nuclear War Now, like, a year or so ago, and that was a very good decision. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know who that is off the top of my head. And I feel like I should know this. So I do apologize. But much respect. R.I.P. And listen to Necromantic Worship Rites of Resurrection, Nuclear War Now, and New Era Productions. A plus black metal. Thanks nice for watching as always, you fucking rule. Hails. Peace. Yeah.